This is the story of Gerald, the most amazing boy around. When other kids spoke words, he only made this sound. Boing, boing, boing. Gerald, boy, boy. Gerald, boy, boy. He makes all kinds of sounds. Whistles, honks, and chirps. His dog, he never barks. But watch out when he barks. Guess the sound! Sound check! Contest to see who can swing the longest. Nice try, Gerald, but we know that was you making those sounds. There's no party over there either. You're faking again. <laughs> I think I felt my chain get looser. My swing is definitely breaking. Mine too. Look out! The swing's gonna break! Come on, Jacob. Don't you see? It was just Gerald playing a trick. See? I told you that swing was going to break. Sound check! Sound check! Here is a fantasy tale to enjoy. Starring Jacob, Janine, and Gerald McCloy. They all play a part in this world of pretend. But the hero is always our sound-making friend. This is the story of Greta Von Grabby, a world-famous thief who was sneaky and crabby. Out of my way! She loves flying her plane, but that plane never lands. She just steals what she wants out of everyone's hands. Hey! She took my cupcake! Nothing was now safe. There was no use in hiding it. She then stole a bicycle while some girl was riding it. She grabbed a nice birdcage and pulled it up so high, would they ever stop that thief up in the sky? Someone to help us to fly and give chase. <laughs> <laughs> 
Could you give me the number of that high-flying ace? The ace got the call and chased that grabby thief. The crew down on the ground looked up in great relief. Phew. Greta turned to find the ace was on her tail. If you try and catch me, you will surely fail! Greta flew her airplane all over the place, but she was no match for that world-famous ace. It was up to the ace to come up with a sound that would bring Ms. Von Grabby back down to the ground. A flock of wild geese nearly rocked that high flyer, but Greta Von Grabby, she just flew even higher. You're no match for me. So you think you're an ace? Ace this, she yelled, and then she laughed in his face. Ha <laughs> ha, you little man. It seems you have forgotten. I'm Greta Von Grabby. I'm nasty and rotten. <laughs> So that ace tried the sound of a big thundercloud. It crashed and it flashed. It was scary and loud. Now that ace knew he needed a way to distract her. He had to find something she liked to attract her. In the paper he'd read that Von Grabby was saying, she loved big parades when the band began playing. So that Greta Von Grabby flew down in her plane. And then something happened that's hard to explain. All the things she had stolen flew out. And what's more, they went back to the people who'd lost them before. And that Greta Von Grabby, she's all over town. Because now she's a queen in a gown and a crown. Lovely day for a parade, don't you think? And that high-flying ace? Well, let's give him a hand. He's the... in the band. I'm gonna take Burp for a walk. I won't be long. Oh, the phone. Just a minute, Burp. opening birthday gifts until the guests arrive, Gerald. But don't worry. They should be here in an hour or so. You can wait, right? <sighs> That's my birthday boy. Oh, was that the kitchen timer? I can't believe the cake is done already. It still needs another 20 minutes. I wonder where that timer sound came from, Gerald. Hey, this place looks great. And just in time. Someone's always coming early. Hey, that must be them now. No, wasn't them. There, how's that look? Hey, the pony ride is here. You got a pony ride for Gerald's birthday? I did? I thought you got the pony ride. No peeking at your gifts, please. 
Is everything okay? Guess the sound! Sound check! Birthday is coming up, and I want to give her the best picture of me ever. The problem is, I never take good pictures. Look at this. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I thought I'd do something like this. Higher? Lower. Sideways? Hey, I like where you're headed with this, Gerald. Whoa! Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> Isn't it the best picture ever? Thanks to Gerald. Oh. Uh, I knew you'd love it. Guess the sound. Sound check. You know, I can never find anything I like on the radio anymore. Oops. Hmm, not bad. Is there anything else on? Maybe. Sorta. Not quite. That's it! I love polka music! Yodelay hee hoo! Yodelay hee hoo! Here is a fantasy tale to enjoy, starring Jacob, Janine, and Gerald McCloy. They all play a part in this world of pretend. But the hero is always our sound-making friend. This is the story of Jacob the King, who loved to joust knights in his knight-jousting ring. The rules of knight-jousting are simple, of course. One knight knocks another knight off of his horse. Thanks. You did pretty well yourself. Whoa! The knights loved this game, and they thought it was fun. They laughed and played fair every night except one. That knight had a really mean trick up his sleeve. I'll defeat the king, take all his land, and then leave. Go now. Hurry up. What I want you to do is smear the king's horse with this icky, sticky glue. The boy didn't like to do this kind of thing, but that knight made him glue down the horse of the king. Come on, boy. Let's go! As the next match began, the king hoped for some fun, but then he found out his horse could not run. Oh. 
Uh-oh. <gasps> so that once noble king was soon quickly defeated. How did he do it? Oh, that's easy. He cheated. <gasps> Your land is all mine. Just hand over the deed. Oh, and while you are at it, hand over your steed. But, sire, his horse is all covered with glue. Ha! Oh, tricked you again? Now I'll take your land, too. But before that could happen, they heard Bugle's call. And in rode the most famous knight of them all. Sir Gerald McBoing Boing, that sound-making knight. He rode into the ring. He was all dressed in white. Sir Gerald McBoing Boing, I'm not scared of you. This time you be sure to use even more glue. But that sound-making knight, he knew just what to do. He was smart, he was brave, and he knew some tricks, too. Ew! Where did that come from? Much was true. Then that knight shouted out, The glue! The glue! Sir Gerald, you see, knew that sometimes knights need something to ride on with even more speed. No! Don't put the glue there! That knight slipped and slid and cried out in despair. Yes. They all saw him in his polka dot underwear. So that knight found out something we all know is true. Getting stuck is no fun when it happens to you. Guess the sound. Sound check. <laughs> Now, this is one of our better portable stereos. It picks up all the local music stations. There's a built-in personal alarm clock. And it even has a mute button when you want peace and quiet. Wow, that's all very impressive. But I think I still like my portable music maker better. Enough with the mute button, Gerald. Let's hit it. Did you hear that? Cookies before breakfast? I don't think so. Yeah. 
If you wanted breakfast, why didn't you just come in and wake us up? Come on, Gerald. Let's have some eggs and toast. What do you say? Exactly. Guess the sound. Sound check. Thank you.